All right, what's going on, YouTube? Welcome to our new channel, uh, the Two Rocket Guys. Uh, the two guys who'll be running it are uh, me and my cousin, and uh, the game we'll be playing is uh, Kerbal Space Program. Uh, for the purposes of this channel, you can just go ahead and call me S, and you can call him Z. Uh, you know, our, our first initials. Uh, we discovered this game uh, some months ago, and just kind of started messing around in it, because at this point, that's pretty much all you can do. I mean, you can make your own missions and choose what to do, but the game doesn't tell you anything. Uh... And uh, recently, they just released a new patch, uh, point one seven, um, which added a whole bunch of challenge to the game because uh, it added a whole bunch of new planets. Like um, previously, there was only the first, the one planet, the planet you started on, and a moon, and another smaller moon. But uh, yeah, they just released some new planets, and it, it made it a lot harder. And so, with the release of Point One Seven, uh, me and my cousin decided to make a YouTube channel. Um, you know, we thought it was the perfect time to start broadcasting our, our attempts and failures and our occasional successes. Uh, this won't exactly be a Let's Play, uh, but we will have continuous gameplay videos, among other things. Uh, in the coming days, I think I'll just put up a few basic tutorial videos, kind of test out the waters and see that, how the channel works. Um, and I think today I'll actually start off with a basic building tutorial in the, the VAB, or Vehicle Assembly Building. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy. So let's just get in there. Uh, and well, I guess we'll start a new game. Let's just call it... Just call it S. Uh, there's a career mode here, but that was, um, you can't click on it. It actually, it must be just a placeholder for future versions. In the future versions, they're planning on adding, uh, like, a, a career mode with uh, money and missions to earn money, and so you don't, won't be able to just build the huge rocket right off the bat. You'll have to work your way up. But right now, that you have unlimited access to parts and pretty much whatever you want. Uh, so let's just give this a start. And uh, here we have our basic uh, the Kerbal Space Center. Um, here in the middle, this is the Vehicle Assembly Building. This is where, where you do all of your building of the rockets. Over here is the launch pad. I don't think I should have to explain what that does. Uh, this is the tracking station. This will um, keep track of the flights that you have currently going on because you can switch between flights. There is persistence in the game. Um, over here is the space plane hangar. You can build uh, horizontally uh, launched space planes instead of rockets, but I haven't really gotten the, the hang of them yet. Maybe I will over the course of the progression of this channel. But uh, let's just, and then there's the runway over here that launches your space planes. Uh, let's just get started and go into the uh, VAB. And you get into this building and you are asked to choose a command module. And now these three right here. These three are the cockpits for the space planes, so we won't really be bothering with that um, until we get to space planes. But these two are the ones you really need to worry about. These command pods, uh, Mark 1.2 and Mark 1. Uh, the Mark 1.2 is uh, a three-person pod, and it's designed for the size 2 parts, and I'll get into that later, and this is for the size 1 parts. Now, for the sake of simplicity, let's just go with the, the one-person command pod. This is the original pod. Uh, here you go. You can right-click and drag to move around and look around and look at all these little guys on the ground. Oh, so adorable. Anyway, um, yeah, over here we have all of your... Um, are all of your parts, and I am playing an unmodded game, meaning I don't have any any parts other than the parts that were included in the in the base game. Um, my cousin Z will be uh, doing a lot more with mods. He plays with mods, and um, I'm thinking he's probably going to be doing some mod review videos for big mod packs or whatever strikes his fancy. Um, but let's just, let's just see. And then you can you click and then move around. You you don't have to drag with the mouse. You can just move it around wherever you want, scroll up and down with the scroll bar, um, scroll wheel rather, um, and we'll go through some just basic parts. Uh, now the first thing you want to do when you get a pod is pretty much always you want to put a parachute on. And we'll go with this one because this is the smallest parachute available and it's designed for the for the Mark I. Alright, now we have a little pod and the parachute will come out when we tell it to. Um, and the way that you 
order the things in order to um, you know make sure they they work in the correct sequence is over here. There's nothing here yet, but this is the staging screen. For instance, the final stage that we'll go through will be the deployment of the parachute. Um, and you can switch between stages. You know, the, you're building multi-stage rockets here, and then what you'll use is the uh, stack decoupler. And this thing, put it on there, and I'll actually just give a quick demonstration of what it does. Why not? Um, so over here are all the fuel tanks and engines. Obviously, you need a fuel tank to run the engines. So let's just get basic tiny fuel tank number one and basic random engine. Okay, it, whatever. It, it looks really stupid, but that's not the point. point is I just want to show you guys what the uh, decoupler does. So then... What you go is you go over here, you click launch, and you give it a minute. And you can actually give your spacecraft a name, but I obviously didn't because this thing is not worth anything. This will go maybe, I don't know, 1,000 thousand meters in the air? We'll see. Anyway, and you get out here, and this is your this is your basic area. This is, we're on the launch pad, obviously. Uh, here is the nav ball down here. This allows you to navigate, and it shows you your, your current trajectory and all that. Over here is the staging screen. Now if you see the first stage, you activate the engine. And then when I choose to go on to the next stage, it'll activate the, dec the decoupler. And that'll separate the two stages. And then finally it'll activate the parachute. Um, and right here is the throttle. You change it by pressing the shift and control keys to go up and down. Uh, standard controls are WASD uh, and Q and E to rotate. Um, and to do the stages, you just press space. So let's just put it up to maximum throttle because why not? And let's get this thing ro rolling. Oh wow, that's fast. It's going a bit farther than I thought it would. Alright, well that, we're out of fuel now. So let's just separate them up. We're separated, and, that'll and we're still going up. Might as well act for the parachute now, too. Yeah, this is incredibly unsafe, but it doesn't really matter. And we'll just come down here, and we'll speed it up a little bit, because I don't want to watch it fall all the way back to the planet. Speed up, speed up, come on, faster. Oh, there goes the little part. Oh, it's going to crash any second now. And the chute just deployed. And we'll just drift the rest of the way down. It'll be really slow, so I'm just going to speed it up. Oh my god, it's still slow even when it's sped up. Well, I guess everything in the name of safety. You wouldn't want your little Kerbals to get in trouble, would you? So, anyway, that's just basically what the decoupler does. And I also showed you a little bit of the staging, too. So what we'll do is just end flight. Gets rid of the, it gets rid of everything on the screen. Um, any space debris that you that you threw off will actually stay in the game and as persistence. Um, actually, I don't know how much time I've used. I don't know how much time YouTube will give me. So let me just uh, do a quick, a few quick things. Um, more things that are important for rocket development are these things: SAS modules. Uh, basically, what they do is they, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this here, basically what they do is they um, they keep your, uh, or they're called stability augmentation systems. Uh, basically they just keep your rocket pointed in whatever direction you, you point it in when, once you press it. Um, it's basically just a giant computer. Uh, but they're really useful, I mean it's pretty much impossible to do most higher level flights without having at least one SAS module, preferably more for more stability. Um, let's see, and then, oh, I'll just show radial decouplers. Radial decouplers, and you go up here and you click the symmetry button, right click to go back, left click to go up, and that will change, um, you know, before it would have just put one, now it puts three. So that's handy. Uh, and what these things do is they just mount things on the side, like for instance these solid rocket boosters. They are, um, you can't control their flow, they're solid, you just have to deal with it, and if they, 
if they suck, well, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, uh, and you can make these things pretty much, these rockets pretty much as tall as you want. Uh, you just um, keep adding more and more uh, decouplers and more and more parts on. Uh, at a certain point, you'll probably have to start putting support struts because the things will fall apart on the on the launch pad if you do it incorrectly. Um, and I just wanted to show you these uh, solid rocket boosters. Oh, and the SAS, you press T to activate the SAS. And there we go. See right there, it is activated. SAS is on. Uh, put throttle up all the way, although it doesn't matter for the solid rocket boosters because I can't control them anyway. And we'll just blast off. It's going to be really fast. Almost out of fuel here. And... Chunk. Activate the next stage. And that's basically just how staging works. I'll just end this video, or this flight right here. And actually I think I'm going to have to end up the video because I don't know how long uh, YouTube will let me post videos. I think it's 10 minutes. Um, so anyway, I'll be posting more videos in the days to come. And I... Hope you guys enjoy. Thanks, guys. See you later.